Hello everybody, in today's video I am going to be using, in my opinion, probably one of the best hunter exotics in the game, especially if you enjoy using your weapons. I am going to be using Dragon Shadow. Now this exotic does a lot, honestly. It used to be a little bit better just due to the way the dodge cooldowns worked, but it's it's still very good. So when you dodge the gun, it actually gives you increased gun reload speed and just buffs the handling and speed of you. Now, like, it also does a few other things. It actually, when you dodge and the its perk is up, you actually get five plus to your mobility. So you don't really need to go to 10 mobility to get the full benefit i'd still recommend running high i honestly would personally run eight i currently with my build i can only run seven but i would run at least eight because i still think having that buff up even with the 50 mobility it makes it inconsistent you still don't get your dogs as much because you can't have it the cooldown going all the time but still it is still great to per your strafe speed and all that it makes it so you slide further it makes it so all your guns feel fantastic like the handling scaler goes like crazy it makes all your guns have like 100 handling and then the scaler for them just it, it's fantastic it is a fantastic exotic now i'm gonna use a build that helps utilize it more now i personally don't think you need to do this too much but i think it definitely helps out if you really want to utilize the full power of dragon shadow and the way we'll be doing that is we're going to use arc strider so there's a, there's a few ways now that we're going to use that first of all we're going to use spark of focus that makes it so when you sprint you get your class ability faster cool that's great that's fantastic it, it just overall passive you sprint and you'll be able to get the dodge faster so you can get the buff more frequently so i'm also going to use flow state now while i'm amplified your dodge recharges more quickly and you are more resistance when you're dodging and you get increased reload speed that's fantastic that's great so and being amplified makes it so we're going to be able to get our dodge even faster when you are when you're dodging with this or when you have this up and you're amplified you get your dodge so fast with the power of this and this. It, it, you just can watch the cooldown go. You can you can dodge like two or three times before the Amplified runs out. Because currently we get an artifact mod that makes it so it lasts 20 seconds instead of 15. So it is fantastic. And then also to help out with the stats a little bit, I'm running Spark of Haste. And when you're running, it gives all three resilience, recovery, and mobility 30 stats. So even with just this, if I'm sprinting, I'm at 100 anyway so it, it is it is fantastic like the amount the speed at which you can get your dodge if you're amplified now of course you need to run an arc weapon with this to really utilize it i was running the forgiveness but you can also run Iklos, you can run horror's lease you can run a variety there's i'm pretty sure there's a few arcane cannons you could run like there, there's a decent amount of arc weapons you don't and, and you could also run certain exotics as well i was running chaperone because i like chaperone but overall very very strong i recommend if you have not tried dragon shadow even if it's just for your another subclass i would recommend giving it a go it is one of my favorite exotics and always has been okay now just going over the subclass a little bit obviously i went over some of the fragments and aspects a little bit but we'll just quick run down like i normally do so arc strider aspects fragments mods chaperone i don't know why it's showing funnel web but this is the forgiveness I'm using in the gameplay. Now, if you do enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe as it does help out with the channel a lot. And I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Thank you. Alright, Burnout. This is a pretty good map for what we're trying to do. Very close, aggressive loadout. And we should be able to do that on Burnout as long as, you know, people don't sit outside too much. Zone C, um, Enemy zone a. So we're going to push up on A here. Just going to pre-toss a grenade. Get a few of them. We got killing wind, but that's still a little, a little far away for the range that we have, unfortunately. That one. That one. Nice. Nice. The guy's gonna be pushed up down there. They're all spawning out outside, so they're all gonna be pushing up on B or into this little cubby here. Looks like it's B. So. Seems like only one is pushing C, so we're gonna try to collapse on that. Nice. Might be another one, another guy spawning outside there. 
Throw a grenade. Had a few of them. Oh, I can't push that. If I push that, I'm pretty sure I just die. Most of the team is not there to support me. So we can get that guy who's pushing in by himself. That guy on C should die. Yeah, they got him. I was going to say, he's by himself, so... Nice. And there's, they're pushing on, pushing again inside. There's more than one here this time, so I gotta actually just gonna dodge out. Get up top here a little bit, just to see the space that I got. Our teammates pushed them back a little bit. They're actually pushing up, so that means we can actually push in and engage. Now this is gonna flip the spawn, so we actually need to be careful here, because they are gonna spawn inside once we flip the spawns now. Which necessarily isn't the. If we were really trying to win this game, we wouldn't really want to do that. You just hold inside, but most people don't care. And realistically, it's quick play. Who really cares if we're flipping spawns? Like, it doesn't really matter. On this map, you want you want to hold A and C, obviously. Just, just you know, keep two points up at all times. But you know. oh, oh, that's a good grenade. Whoa. Uh oh. Probably gonna want to get over this wall. You probably. Oh no. We're gonna dodge out. We're gonna hide behind the cheese wheel. If my teammates push out, I'm gonna push out with them. Nice. There should be another one here. Eh, we got him. Okay. We do have super here. Nice. Nothing. That's a power play. That one, because he was volatile. I'm calling this one. Nice, there's the Wii Ram. I would tear out a Vex heart with my teeth. I would sear the cabal with my burning nice. light. Challenge the fallen Kells to personal. Overall, pretty good game, pretty quick. Overall. I've been watching too many crucible matches. Let's see how many we get, but it would have been 20. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, Widow's Court, not the greatest map in the world for what we're trying to accomplish. So I actually switched over to a hand cannon. Not the best hand cannon in the world, but I feel like with this build, you want to run an arc weapon. So I'm sort of limited to what I got. I'm going to push around here. I'm just going to throw a grenade. I might end up backing up. Uh, that guy's got to shoot through, so we're dead. But what the heck? Okay. I did not really look at my radar, I missed my headshot, and then he punched me to death, so that, that's cool, that's fun, GG's, all around, better player, but um, oh my goodness, we're gonna try to push up top to get some map control, the guy on my left, nice, we're gonna get up on the house here, gonna miss every shot like a professional. Oh my goodness. This, uh, these guys are having a great time. I should be able to get that guy. Nice. I sort of assumed he was either going to push up up here or up there, so I just kind of assumed. Oh no! They have machine gun. Well, you know. This is a game of Destiny 2, folks. There, uh. Just going to put that there. Teammate, please. Out of my way. Why is my teammate throw firing an immortal from up there? Uh, 
We're gonna try to capture B here, because honestly, I can't really do much in my current state. Nice. Good job, team. Now. Now you're fighting nice. with heart, Guardian. They're probably gonna push up on A if I had to guess. Well, maybe not. Our team is actually holding it down. I just really want to all sit in the courtyard, I guess. <laughs> For whatever reason, they just really like sitting in the courtyard. Nice. We... Oh, I thought maybe you'd push up there. There we go. Lob a grenade. Oh wow, I'm really surprised that didn't hit him. If I'm gonna be honest. Come on, teammate. Yeah, let's go, buddy. I don't. The gamer. I love them. Uh, they're they're gonna be on heavy. That guy was one shot. Don't see captured. You have As we... Okay. This is not a good spot, but okay, I got that guy a little bit weak. Oh my goodness. Wow, he shredded me so fast. But overall, not bad, not bad. Push up top here with the team. Then we're gonna move over to B. They're capturing C right now, which is fine. I think we let them get C and we take B, and we're good. Let's get in. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. Um, Maybe I just fly in with my super? Oh. Ah, Graviton Lance. Where? I don't even know where he's shooting me from. Where is he? Oh my god. Ugh, my aim is so sloppy. I just woke up. But... Still. Zone A captured. You okay. have advantage. Okay. Five minutes left. Keep it up. Uh, they're pushing on to B. Oh, I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh, I am. Now I'm dead. Oh. Zone B lost. This team uh, really likes to hang back. That's a super, so we're just gonna vamoose out of here. Especially because hammers is one of the hardest supers to kill. If you ask me. I mean, we get him. Oh. Okay. I don't think he realized I was up there. What is happening? Okay, speaking of, one of hammers being one of the hardest, this is one of the easiest. Oh, not when he does that, I guess. If any teammates stuck around and just team shot him, we kill him. Which, with this super, I feel like you always stick around and team shot because it is so weak and so hilariously bad. <laughs> It's a power play. Get those zones back. So. Just, just keep that in mind. If, if somebody's running at you with a Strand Hunter Super, I would just... If you have even one teammate, you, you can gun it down yourself most of the time. Pretty easy. But... If you have one teammate, you can, you can gun that thing. It is... It needs an armor buff or something. It has great mobility, but... I don't know. The rest of the class is fantastic, so I guess that makes up for it. But three minutes, you're winning. But it's still just like back. What's my guy doing? Is 
This is not really where I should be right now. This is a really bad spot if their team decides they want to, you know, push on me, but it's fine. Oh, he actually flinched me off the attack. Well, I got one. Didn't know he was on stasis, to be honest. But even if he had a shoulder charge, it would have just been that much better. So, I just mispositioned. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna push around over towards B. Just right there. There's this guy. He should get it down. Guys, now. That guy. Zone advantage is yours. What are you doing? Little psychopath. Your enemy can't ah. kill if they're dead. Dodge. Shoot together as one. Nice. Oh, what the heck? Bubble there. I could not ask for a better victory. Eh, not a bad game. Definitely a little slow, but not terrible. You fight like a demon for me, so I feel like I didn't get a whole lot of kills. <sighs> Maybe like 40. Like you. Hey, see? I just know I am him. <laughs>